Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to actually stop working with tables, at least for a little while, and move on to strings. I've covered strings a little bit already, but we're going to get more in depth with them, and use some more advanced techniques such as substrings and concatenation. Uh, for you more advanced scripters or programmers or just computer users, you might already know what I mean. Uh, but we're, we're going to uncover exactly what they do. So we'll go up to script. And okay, we've already worked with strings a little bit. But we've been working with them as just simple variables. And they've been inside tables. And we haven't done much with them. We've just kind of used them. Well, now we're going to use them to do much more than a simple string can alone. So we're actually going to get rid of everything up to there and we're going to name this local string and we're going to say hello hello world default right and we're just gonna say print string we're gonna go over here and we're gonna run this and we're gonna see shoot properties isn't open or output. Uh, I again guys had to okay so Windows Windows 8 had an update I updated it obviously and I sort of had to refresh my computer because the update went bad so I refreshed my computer which is not the same as restoring a computer uh, refreshing got rid of all my programs got rid of my Minecraft even um, and threw in, but I got to keep my files. So, I had to refresh it to fix everything. I now back up my system every night. <laughs> Cause I, well, I don't back it up. I set a system restore up. I set a system restore up every night now. Uh, or at least I try to if I have time. So this shouldn't happen again. But... This is why I this whole story I'm telling you guys is because I have to set up my output and everything again. So I'm going I know we've covered this already guys. I'm sorry. But I have to view the output. I guess I could let you guys kind of see what I'm doing. I moved output to there. View toolbars command and there. Everything's back to normal now. All right, now I'm going to run this. There seems to be a problem. I guess we can't print string like that. Um, that's weird. We should be able to. Okay, let's run this now. There we go. Okay. I guess we have to use it in function mode since it's a variable. I always use it in function mode anyway. I've been using Python lately. Oh well. Uh, for a little project I'm working on. So, hello world. It worked, right? Well, we already knew how to do all this. It was easy, and you're kind of like, really, BB? We've done this a hundred times lately. Can you show us something new? That's why it's a new tutorial. Well, I'm going to show you something new right now. We're going to have string and then local string2. We're actually going to change string to just be hello. We're going to change this to be world. Like that. Now when we go over here, we pause, we reset, we press play, we'll get hello. Okay, so we expected to see hello. But why don't we see world? I'm going to, er, not why don't. How can we see world too? How can we print two strings on the same line? I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So, we're going to go up here. And concatenation, which is what I'm about to show you. Concatenation is literally is 
a huge word meaning put two strings together. A lot of programming and scripting languages do it differently, but just about every major programming or scripting language does have concatenation. Um, so we're going to cover it Lua style. Op op opa Lua style. Okay. So string period period string two. So period period it, two periods in a row tells Lua that you're about to concatenate the string on the left side of the periods with the string on the right side of the periods. So it just puts them together. So we're going to run this and you guys are going to see something surprising hopefully. And we see hello world but it doesn't have a space. That's annoying, right? So there's a couple ways we could fix this. First off, we could add a space at the end of this. We could put a space here at the beginning. Or, if we don't want to change those variables, we can put a space here and concatenate the two strings to the space. And now if we reset and we press play, we'll get hello world as we should. So that was concatenation. Next up I want no no. This this tutorial has been long enough. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button. Correspond how you felt about this video and I'll catch you guys.